Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what you can do if you have some funds still on your ethos wallet and when you invoke the ethos wallet of course now it's saying the ethos app is now closed please visit ethos or ethos io for more information and unfortunately when you go there there's not much more information i can show this page and unfortunately it looks like they are more caring about uh, Voyager but still if you are also a victim of uh, like Voyager or Ethos then you can register here maybe you will get some information I don't know what they are planning to do but still I mean there are some things uh, from Ethos from the Ethos wallet which have still some value and you can do something so not everything is lost the good thing is with the Ethos wallet it's not like a proprietary wallet it's not like a custody wallet it's like an open source BIP39 wallet which you can access also uh, through other websites or other uh, options and not only through Ethos that's the good thing and that was the reason why we joined Ethos of course because it's so safe and uh, we have always been wondering what's happening if some uh, companies go down which are using the BIP39 or some other uh, open source functions can we really access the funds and it's still possible definitely because the wallets they don't do not belong to ethos they are the, uh, normal like ethereum wallets or bitcoin wallets. so i'm going to show you how this works so here we cannot do anything apart from registering but we get more information here on supportethos.io that's still active you can get a lot of information you get also this link here you can use this link here ethos source github and then you get to this bip39 web tool and still available here you can see that i'm here using that and i have generated like a, a random wallet uh, to show you how this works so when you invoke that everything is empty you have to pick your blockchain type let's say you have some uh, vgx i mean voyager uh, tokens then you of course have to select uh, ethereum because it's an ethereum token if you had bitcoin here then it's the bitcoin blockchain and uh, yeah so depending on what it was if it's any kind of token then it's uh, ethereum i think uh, every token is on the ethereum blockchain then you leave this on zero and ten and you start typing all the recovery seed words which you had i hope you have saved them of course that's the big uh, point here that you have saved your recovery seats bip39 recovery seats from the ethos wallet i think they have asked to do this many times and here down the keys private keys and everything is empty so you start typing that's the word number one then the two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, here in this sample i have 24 you can see what happens when i enter the last word which is fence and so you can see it turned green i can click on derive addresses and it will show me the addresses and usually let's say i mean here we are on ethereum then we get this uh, address here so let's copy that that's a public uh, ethereum address and that's the uh, of course the private key which you will use then as well but now let's start with this thing here now let's go to for example the either scan we type this here we paste this here and so we can see if there's something you can see that's just a new address which i have been generating i mean a new set of uh, wallets which i've been generating so there's nothing in here there's nothing which you can steal from me <laughs> that's not my uh, real address here so uh, i just wanted to show you uh, how you can access uh, and see what you have so down here usually you will see what you have like uh, erc20 token transaction analytics or whatsoever but usually you'll find already a lot and now but of course with the ether can you can't do anything what you need to do then is of course to go to like my ether wallet you can go there or you can open uh, like meet the mask you can add this uh, extension to chrome and then log in here and of course what you have to do you can go to 
uh, meter mass you, when you click on here they will show you different functions and one of the functions is to import like a wallet and to import a wallet of course then you need the address and the uh, private key and then you will see everything here and then in the metamask you have this thing here on top usually when you have uh, not connected already some wallets probably it will ask you to import if you have already one do you want to add a new one you click here on top on on this icon here and you click on import account and then you can add your private key here yeah i'm not doing that because otherwise i would have too many wallets but that's the private key uh, from here so definitely uh, no problem especially I mean that this is of course I think this is just uh, for ethereum of course it won't work for uh, Bitcoin or so I think yeah this this one here just works for uh, all ethereum tokens if you have some Bitcoin then you would have to uh, go to a, a normal like native Bitcoin wallet there are other uh, solutions for that but probably most people will have the ethereum so uh, with the uh, metamask or uh, okay my either wallet.com you should be fine you're good to go i mean i can show you that in in this sample here of my account i have one of my accounts here already imported into metamask and so i have it online again now from here from the meter mask i can buy and send and swap i mean trade what whatsoever i mean it's not cheap to trade but the main thing is probably to send it to another like an exchange or so so you have all options here again so it's more or less like like the same thing if you had uh, still access to the etos wallets you are not lost and um, yeah that's it for now uh I'll, by the way i'll put down all the links which you need down into the description so you can just click on them and use them right from there as long as they are available by the way even if this would go down here i think it's not going down anytime soon because it's on github so probably it will stay here forever but if it would go down there are other bip39 uh, projects around plenty of them which you could use but at the moment of course i would uh, still suggest to use the ethos uh, function here so that's it for now i hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or uh, other solutions whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time